Hello, are you guys gonna die in there? I've been in there for a long time. Oh, sorry, kid. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of my Sims in Bloom series. If I seem a little bit off this episode, it's because I think I just gave myself a concussion. I just smacked my head really hard into a cupboard by accident. Um, I also keep accidentally playing with this filter on. I don't know if you guys prefer this filter with or without, like let me know what you prefer, but I kind of like it better without the filter only because the speed is a lot quicker but I do like the way it looks in game of the filter it is just like a little bit slower um, as well before we jump into things I just wanted to show you guys our little kitty cats here um, I had pea and buttercup age up when I first joined into this episode like I literally looked in and it was like they've aged up so I was like okay so now they're um, adult cats and I've just got Clover having a little snoozy in her bed because it's midnight. Yeah, she's almost got a full bar of sleep, um, but we'll get her up soon to do some work today. It is Monday, which means we were supposed to enter a video game tournament yesterday and we didn't do that. So oh wait, maybe we did. I can't remember, <laughs> um, but I'll get her to do that today anyway, because we need some more money. I have taken some funds out of our account. So we've got 198 business funds in our vet in our business I suppose and we have 290 in our what is this called household funds see I'm already losing the plot <laughs> I like I'm having trouble remembering things I have no idea why but um for now I am gonna let Clover finish off her sleep and we will check back in the morning all right I am gonna get Clover up because it's four o'clock in the morning let your bad jumping on counters please we need to get um, four misbehaviors done. So every time they're doing something naughty, we'll come and tell them off. So hopefully then we will unlock that pretty quickly. Um, he didn't learn not to jump on the counters and he's literally right back on the counters right now, <laughs> but that's okay. Clover's pretty hungry. So I'm going to get her to, what is she making? You probably need to eat something a little bit healthier. What is this? Okay, you can make bacon and eggs, but we're having some salad tomorrow because ever since we've moved out of home, we've basically just been eating crap. Um, and I'm surprised that she is not feeling awful. She had the eating too much junk food little emote last time, but it's gone away now. So I'm not, I won't be surprised if it comes back. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that. Where are our cats? All right, so she's decided she's just gonna have a bowl of cereal instead of making some food. So I'll get her to come and clean this up. We probably can't afford to be wasting so much money. Yeah, you can come over, Dax. We're probably gonna head out, but feel free to come over. Uh, what are you doing up here? Lecture about jumping on counters and come and tell P to stop scratching. Oh my God, this cat's attacking Dax. <laughs> what are you doing, P? Don't attack him. Okay, he's learnt not to attack, which means we've excessively trained one out of four misbehaviors, thank god. P, okay, we'll give him a pat now because he's a good boy. And we'll give him a treat because he learnt that and we'll also get to know him a little bit. We are also super freaking smelly, so I'm going to get Clover to come inside and have a bath. Let's have a bath with some soaks because we've had a really busy week so far. Um, so I'll let her have a little bit of a relax, but Dax is here to hang out, so we may as well invite him in as well. Please leave my house, Phoenix. <laughs> all these toddlers are showing up like I know you have to adopt this generation do you want to adopt me all right Clover's off to have a bath now thank god she has been super smelly after her bath I'm gonna get her to play her video game tournament and then we might open the vet today but I also might spend a day with our friends instead I'm not really sure yet oh crap we've got bills to pay oh I also grabbed some plants from our house in the like Daisy's old house so oh, there's more here as well so I'm gonna get her to come and plant some of these things to try and earn some more money all right we've fed all the cats and everything I'm gonna get us to come and enter a video game tournament um let uh, let's enter a professional one let's do my sims go it's gonna cost us a hundred and we don't really have that money to spare so she better win this time all right so she's in her tournament now kitty's just hanging out behind her they're a little bit scared from the storm but we're doing what our, our best um hopefully she'll win this time because what level are you of video gaming she's level eight she has she's only won one so far or two maybe and she's played in a lot of them so she better i really hope she does win this time <gasps> oh guess who got promoted want to come celebrate with me oh i would i would love to come but i'm in the middle of a tournament and i'll lose my money so i don't know why they always text me when i'm in the middle of stuff Oh my god, okay, we won 1,173 simoleons from our video game tournament. We came second. Oh my god, okay, so we can pay our bills with that money. Oh my geez, there's toddlers freaking everywhere. 
Get out. Get out of my house. Why is this keep happening that all these people keep showing up? All these random people? Oh, whatever. I'm sending her to bed. It's nine o'clock at night and she's tired. She can go to bed. I'll check back in in the morning, guys, because these people are just... Ugh. I'm so annoyed. I don't know what people keep entering my house for. It's really frustrating. It happened all through Daisy's generation and now it's happening again. All right, so Clover's up, even though it's 1 a.m. in the morning and she's invited over Anahi for some odd reason. So I guess Anahi's coming over now. We've also got some freaking kids here that need to get the heck out of my house before I leave. Go, get out. Go, thank you, goodbye. Do not come over again, ever. I've put no trespassing for neighbors on. I don't know if that's gonna solve the issue. I also wanna give Anahi a little bit of a makeover now, so I'm gonna quickly jump in and do that. All right, guys, so this is Anahi in her new look. I think she's definitely, wait, actually, I wanna give her a tattoo, but I think she's definitely more um, like grungy than she was as a teenager, even though she was pretty like going that direction. Whereas I feel like Clover switched back to her like original um, clothing. I think Anahi has kept this style, but these two still get on like a house on fire. So there is definitely no issues there. All right, so we're back in our household now and Anahi has obviously come over. We'll get dressed in some of our regular clothes. Can you please change your outfit? I don't know why Clover's invited Anahi over this late, but I think they, they're still gonna have a little bit of a catch up because they haven't really seen each other in a while. She's obviously gonna tell Anahi that she's having a really good time like living out of home and she's having a great time being single, but I think she's also going to anxiously confess her attraction to Anahi because as we know Clover has had feelings for Anahi for a while but Clover definitely doesn't want any relationship after experiencing what happened with her sister Daffodil and her relationship compliment her appearance as well I don't know why she's in such an energized mood but um, this whole conversation is making Clover really tense but we wanted to tell Anahi how we feel and Anahi's gonna tell us that she feels the same way and we're gonna be like we're just gonna embrace her and say we don't really want a relationship it's not something that we want however we do have this attraction towards her and we want to let her know that we don't want to lead her on because nothing is going to come of it but she just wants her to know like how she feels um Anahi I don't know why she left but maybe because it's 1am in the morning she's come downstairs to clear her head and now she's coming back up to please don't go to bed oh my god change your outfit let's put our clothes back on and she's coming back up to tell us how she feels and now he's been our friend our whole life and i think she understands that we um don't want any serious relationships now or maybe ever but she's like look i'm open to whatever you want to do Clover like you're my best friend I don't want to ruin our relationship but if you do decide you want anything further let me know but for now I am going to keep exploring my own romantic avenues so just let me know until just let me know before it's too late and Clover's going to be like okay thank you for like understanding and I think she's going to call it a night and head to bed so now we know that Anahi does reciprocate those feelings that Clover has but Clover just like isn't ready for a relationship so these two are not going to start a relationship and I think eventually Anahi will not want to wait around for Clover and she will end up looking elsewhere and I think that's a good way to transition into Clover never getting into a relationship because she's obviously got these feelings for Anahi um, but she just misses her opportunity so for now um, she's, you know, expressed her feelings and he understands how she feels. I might get these guys to like do woohoos or something at some point, um, just so she can obviously experience that and maybe Clover decides that it, you know, it, she wasn't, it wasn't for her and she doesn't want to, um, you know, she's comfortable being single and independent and that's the route she decides to take. But hopefully Anahi will be home at some point. Hopefully she won't just stand there. Okay, so Clover is giving Anahi a key to the house and is telling her that she's welcome anytime and if she wants to come stay, she can, which is really sweet of her. And I think I'm going to get these guys to... Oh, cute. These guys are having a little bit of a hug in the hallway. We're having a chat with her. Oh, the conversation is suggestive. Oh my god. Guys, they're just freaking kissing. Alright, so since it's 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to get Clover to come and have a bath and then she's going to head into the vet today. Um, we can probably hang out with Anahi a little bit later. I don't know whether she's single, honestly. She has no spouse at the moment and she's 10 days into being a young adult, um, which is interesting. Alright, Clover could do with a little bit of food before we head in, so I'll get her to come and grab a quick meal. 
Great job, and now that she's feeling great, we're gonna head into the vet clinic for the day. Here we are, we've arrived at our vet clinic. It's 7.30 in the morning. I'm gonna get um, Clover to change into her vet uniform this morning, and I wanna see if I can hire any extra staff. I really wanna hire someone that we know, but I'm just not sure if I have to get a mod for that possibly. So for now, I am just gonna open because we're pretty okay with the amount of people we have, which is just us um, at the moment. But I think probably in the next few shifts, we will have to hire a second employee if it gets busier. Just a Santa check up for Rainbow today, please. Didn't we look at Rainbow last time? All right, let's do a check our chart to see what happened last time he was here. And we'll do some pretty general things like listening to his heart and taking his temperature, listen to his breathing. Okay, so he does have something wrong with him. So we'll give him a pre preventative shot. Oh my God, my head is like ringing. Okay, um, let's come and give her a exam in here. So if this cat is healthy, so we'll just give them a shot so they stay healthy. And we'll build the owner. We also have to really use the loo. Alright, she is pretty tired. Let's scavenge for some parts and we've got another person already here. I think this will be our last one of the day because we're feeling pretty tired, but we might head to that festival if it's still on afterwards. Oh, this cat's really upset, so we'll calm him down first. <laughs> You're okay. Bill the owner and then we'll close. Okay, so we made 250 simoleons today, which is all right. So we'll take some of this money out of our business funds. I'm gonna take out 200 simoleons into our, put it in our household, which is nice. And we're feeling pretty freaking tired and hungry. So can you come and throw this away, please? And we're gonna head, I'm gonna see if we can head to the festival that uh, is on. Travel to Geekon. Let's bring a Nahi. Okay, we have now arrived at Geekon. We're feeling pretty freaking tired and honey, uh, hungry. Oh my gosh, my head. <laughs> so I'm gonna get her to come and order some food. Let's just get a veggie burger. We've got Daffodil and Baby Posey over here. Look at her in her little outfit. She's so cute. Both of these guys, they're kind of matching. Festival's finishing up in one hour. Okay, don't take a nap. We're, we can survive one hour. All right, we'll enter a gaming tournament over here. Let's enter a professional one. Let's do incredible sports. So Clover is in here playing her incredible sports tournament. I'm gonna get her to change her clothes so she's not in her outfit. Change outfit. Um, Why don't we wear this one? Hopefully she wins. We'll wait and see, I suppose. Oh, okay. We just spent a hundred simoleons and the it just cleaned up in front of us. So I am gonna add that back um, because that is kind of unfair. <laughs> and we'll come over and say hi to Anahi and see how she's been. We'll share our single love blanket tips, which she's probably not happy to hear about because she asked us in last night if we wanted to um, have things be serious with her. So sharing that we are enjoy being single, she probably isn't that happy about, but we'll describe our first kiss, which was with her obviously, and we'll confess to having it. Also, we've got little baby Posey here, so cute. Let's, um, let's play with her. Cute, she's playing with little Posey. Well, these guys are so cute. Oh, it's karaoke night at the karaoke bar. Karaoke bar. Ooh. Okay. Why don't we come over here and do some karaoke? Let's sing a. Oh no, I want to sing in the contest. <gasps> okay, let's sing uh, this one. Shaken, not stirred. Clover's a really bad singer. <laughs> All right, great job, Clover. Um, what time is it announced? At eleven. Why don't we come take a nap on here until then, and we can find out if we won. Oh, Lainey's here. I wonder how she's feeling after Juniper passed. Oh crap, we only scored 44 out of 100 points. We did so bad. Oh well, no one else has been singing, so hopefully we do okay. Oh, okay, we won. Wonderful. I don't know how much we got from that. Probably like 500-ish if we now have 11,000. Okay, you can wake up and head home now. She's the only person that sang, so I'm not surprised she won, but good on you. Maybe you can prove your karaoke and we can do this more often. Let's head home. Okay, here we are. I am gonna send her to bed because she is super tired and it's 11 o'clock at night. So here she goes, off to bed. 
Oh, okay, so I've had Clover get up early this morning and enter a video game tournament, and she's actually reached level 9 of the gaming skill, which is amazing. Amazing. So we only have one level left till level 10, and then we've completed that, which is crazy to think about. Um, I will have to get her to work on her programming at some point, because I think that's the lowest skill we have now at level 4. Um, so we'll work on that today. Oh, she got 233 simoleons and came third place. Since it's 7 o'clock this morning, I think I'm going to um, invite Anahi out somewhere. Maybe we'll visit the lounge. Um, actually, I think I'm going to invite her out on a... I think we're going to invite Anahi out this morning um, somewhere to have a little bit of a chat. I think it's probably the best thing to do since we've led her on the last few days. So I think I won't get... Want, I want Clover to clarify exactly what her expectations are and what she wants in life. So I'm going to head us over to the Onsen bathhouse um, to hang out. Okay, so we've arrived at the Onsen bathhouse. Clover's looking super cute in her little outfit. These guys are going to head inside. Ooh, I think this is a different... Oh, wait, maybe not. Um, let's come and have a quick shower and then we'll hop into the tubs and hopefully Anahi will come and join us. All right, so these two are in the hot tub now. I was hoping they would sit together, but it doesn't appear to be that way. So we're just going to have a little bit of chat to Anahi and we're going to tell her that it we, we don't really know why we can't commit to her and be in a relationship, but we just know that we are really like sexually attracted to her and we think she's really beautiful and we love her as a friend, but we're just not interested in a relationship at all. Um, and... I think Anahi's gonna be like, Clover, do you maybe think you're like asexual or something? Hey guys, I'm just popping in from editing mode to say I meant to be saying aromantic the entire time. I'm not sure why I was saying asexual. Um, so I'm gonna keep saying asexual in the recording, but I do mean aromantic. So please let me know below if you think that this suits Clover or if there's a different sexuality. However, I meant a romantic the entire time and I consider Clover as being aromantic so let me know what you guys think thanks and she's like Clover's gonna be like well I don't really know what that means do you mind explaining it and um and now he's gonna explain to her that someone who is asexual um like have emotional needs but they don't really want a relationship some of the time they don't have like romantic feelings and I think Clover's gonna go I don't really know if that's me but it feels like it might be she doesn't want to put a label on her sexuality um at this point but she just knows that she doesn't have those romantic feelings but she knows that she wants to be with Anahi because um you know these guys are like best friends and she's like you're like the one person I can trust in the whole world and I'm really attracted to you but I just don't know why I don't want to be in a relationship or have that romantic connection and I think Anahi is going to understand where she's coming from and she's not going to take it personally obviously Clover can't help how she feels um and Anahi is going to sort of agree to I think being sort of sort of like an open relationship with Clover um in a sense where they're technically not dating but they like have this like friends with benefit type situation so Clover can still have that uh sexual relationship with Anahi which she wants but she doesn't have to commit on a romantic level um and then at the same time Anahi is going to experience a romantic relationship with or the sims so what i'm going to do is these guys are never going to be in a relationship because clover doesn't want that however i will let them have a sexual relationship so they can do what they want i think we'll still have a night over we might end up getting her to move in with us but i think she will eventually end up finding herself a boyfriend or girlfriend and get married um so she doesn't have to be i guess single with us because clover's single and she loves it and she i don't know if you guys see this and know what Clover's sexuality would be let me know obviously I'm not super aware of every single sexuality that there is I know that asexuals tend to feel this way so if I'm on the in the right ballpark let me know if I'm completely off then I apologize and let me know um but yeah so that's what we're gonna do so obviously that's why she's unflirty because she doesn't want to be romantic with her okay so these guys are having a little bit of a chat in the spa now so clover has decided oh gross this hot spring is disgusting but she's decided to skinny dip in the hot spring i don't know why she's decided to do this um we probably should clean it out to be honest come clean this 
Alright, so these guys are heading into the hot spring. Please ignore there's a random heartbroken person here. They're probably feeling a little bit jealous that we're <laughs> in the hot spring. But these guys are going to do some woohoos in the hot spring. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Got the little love heart. So cute. Hello, you guys gonna die in there? They've been in there for a long time. Oh, sorry, kid. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Okay, neither of them are pregnant, thank God. Um, okay, so we have done that. We've had a chat with Anahi. She obviously understands where we're coming from. So I feel like we can head home now and just continue our life as normal. Obviously, we've got Anahi here who Clover really likes, um, but we definitely will not be getting into any serious relationship with her romantically at all. It will just be a friend's situation, probably more, but they're not going to get into a relationship because of Clover's storyline, obviously. Um, so I'm going to get Clover to head home now. All right, Clover is home now. She's feeling all right, so I'll just let her do her thing. But I am going to wrap this one up here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I also hope you guys like um, Clover and Anahi's relationship dynamic. I hope it works with this challenge because we're not really supposed to get into any serious relationship and Clover is obviously got this single and loving it lifestyle which we don't want to ruin so she's never gonna be officially um in a relationship boy like girlfriend girlfriend style with Anahi but we will definitely be seeing her in the future and if things you know don't really work out we can um let it sort of flake off a little bit but I think this is going to work best with our storyline please let me know down below in the comments if you guys know what this sexuality would be classed as otherwise we'll just call it the clover i suppose like everyone's different i guess this is just the way she feels um but if you did like this episode please don't forget to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already um i do bring out new episodes i think three or four times a week so if you're keen to continue watching this little story with us please stick around that'd be wonderful and i'll see you guys in the next one bye